Hello students, welcome to Infinity IAS. Today, we'll look at a science and technology topic, Ballistic Missile Defense System. This is in continuation with a previous video about different types of missile systems in India, Ballistic and Cruise Missile. So today, we will see a connected topic that is Missile Defense System, particularly with relation to Ballistic Missile Defense System. So, we have seen that ballistic missile follows a ballistic trajectory where this is the lift off from the surface and then this is the flight. It can go over the level of the atmosphere also and it will fall back again into the atmosphere before finally making a strike on the earth's surface. So, we can see there are three parts to the flight path of a ballistic missile. So, the components of missile defense also can be classified according to this, which is terminal phase. This means during the atmospheric descent phase. So this is the atmospheric descent. So we can intercept the missile somewhere here so that it won't reach the earth's surface. Then comes mid course interception that is in-flight interception. So, it can be intercepted somewhere here during its flight path so that it won't even come to the descent phase. Before even coming to the descent phase, it will be intercepted and will be eliminated. Then comes lift-off phase that is targeting at launch point. So, here the missile will be launched. So, this is the liftoff phase where we can intercept the missile. So, even before the liftoff or just after the liftoff, we can intercept the missile and make sure that it doesn't reach our territory. But if we see liftoff phase is very difficult considering that the liftoff or the where the missile starts will normally be in the enemy territory. So, for us to cut off the in missile in the liftoff phase, we need to have very advanced radars that can see or scan the entire enemy's territory and then identify a missile being launched. So this is a very advanced missile defense and it needs high level of technology. So we have the ballistic missile defense system in India also. We have already seen in news regarding the S-400 missiles that India is buying from Russia. The US is threatening to launch sanctions against India if we buy these S-400 missiles from Russia. So what are these S-400 missiles? These S-400 missiles are also a kind of missile defense system that can be used to protect our territory from enemy missile launches. So, we see that there are both indigenous and imported components of our India's missile defense system. Today, we will look into the indigenous parts of the missile defense system that India has. So, India's ballistic missile defense system has two indigenous systems. One is PAD and the other is AAD. What is this? PAD is Pradyumna Ballistic Missile Interceptor. AAD is Ashwin Ballistic Missile Interceptor. For prelims, we need to know what these two mean and also these names Pradyumna and Ashwin. These are important when it comes to prelims. So, we'll see at the pad component first. Pad component is high altitude interception. That is exo-atmospheric interception. So, we have seen that ballistic missiles has a trajectory like this and it might go outside the atmosphere before falling back into the atmosphere. So, PAD component intercepts here. That means high altitude high altitude, exo-atmospheric interception. 
द आल्टीट्यूड रेंज बिटवीन फिफ्टी टू एटी किलोमीटर्स दैट मीन्स दिस डिस्टेंस बिफोर वेयर इट कैन इंटरसेप्ट इज ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी टू एटी किलोमीटर्स अबाउ द अर्थ सर्फेस सो फॉर प्रिलिम्स वी नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट पैड कॉम्पोनेंट इज हाई आल्टीट्यूड एक्सो एटमोस्फेरिक and the altitude range is 50 to 80 kilometers so what is the actual interceptor vehicle that is used in the pad component that is prithvi defense vehicle so prithvi defense vehicle is the interceptor that will be launched so when we see as soon as a missile is launched from an enemy territory it goes like this our systems will identify that a missile has been launched and then this pad the prithvi defense vehicle will be launched so it will intercept the incoming missile here at a high altitude exo atmospheric level and then it will destroy the incoming missile so if we see prithvi defense vehicle is two staged and both the stages are solid state propellant what is two staged that means this prithvi missile that is launched needs to be propelled towards the incoming missile this height so for the prithvi missile to reach this height it needs some propellant so it is two staged propellant that means till half point one propellant will be used up that is a solid stage propellant will be used up and it will break off and fall down next the second stage the second propellant will be used up and it will break off before intercepting the missile so this stage propellant is similar to our rocket technology where we have different stages of propellants so for prelims examination we need to remember that prithvi defense vehicle is two stage and it both are solid state propellants then comes AAD component which is ashwin so it is a low altitude interception endo atmospheric as we have seen prithvi is high altitude exo atmospheric aad is endo atmospheric that means inside the earth atmosphere itself and it is low altitude and the altitude is only up to 30 kilometers here we see prithvi is 50 to 80 kilometers above the earth surface but aad is somewhere here at this level that is only 30 kilometers and then it is a single stage solid propellant here we have prithvi two staged rocket why prithvi is two staged and ashwin is only single staged because prithvi need to attain height of 50 to 80 kilometers it needs more propellant but ashwin here only it's up to 30 kilometers so it is only a single stage and it also uses solid state propellant so this is about the indigenous component of our missile defense system in the next part of this video we will see all the components of the missile defense system including indigenous as well as imported which will be important for the coming prelims examination Thank you